Hello and welcome back to, well, Google Chrome, I guess. Um, I'm your host, Imperialis, and today, for this short video, going to do a real quick uh, explanation of how I got Emperor the Fading Suns running on my machine. Just because, you know, like I said in my very first video, it's one of those games that came out in that awkward period of time at, between Windows 95 and Windows 98 that modern computers hate. Uh, so anyhow, uh, you can see here I've got uh, Brian's website in the background, which is where you can find all of the files that you actually need to get it up and running. Um, fingers crossed, at least. Uh, they, I have a fourth file that I like to use as well, but that one is definitely optional. So to download it, you go into his download section, and you've got three files here that you need in order to get the game to work. Um, first being the core game, then the reality mod, and then the Emperor's Wars, Emperor Wars mod. And you need to install them in that order because um, Emperor Wars builds on what already existed in reality. So um, it's important that you install them both, and it's important that you install reality mod first. The last mod that I use, uh, you can find on the Steam Groups page uh, that basically lets you run it in a window, which I personally like, especially for recording and stuff like that. I uh, can't get it to record when it's running at full screen at all, but um, just click on the Mediafire link, deal with their annoying pop-ups, and download it. Uh, I have already downloaded all four, and I've put them in a temporary folder on my desktop here. And so you can see here we have EOTFS 1 underscore 4 with reg, that's the core game files. And then we've got the Reality Mod, Emperor Wars, and EFS Win, which is the windowed mod. So start things off, you open up here, and now you do need to extract the files first before it'll install. So just drag them out of the extracted folder, and I just pop them right back into my temp folder for it. Um, after that, you can install it. Uh, I'm just going to install it to its own file there. Uh, you can see it show up right there. And let it grind away and think here. And it might come up with error messages and stuff like that. Uh, it's not the end of the world if it does, but um, let it do its thing. Uh, yes, you do want to add it to the registry, and it did install correctly, even though it comes up with that error there. So, uh, Next up, you need to install Reality Mod, and to install Reality Mod, you just open up the installed directory, get rid of some of these extra windows, uh, open the Reality Mod up, select all of the files, drag them into the main directory, overwrite everything. Bam! Reality Mod is done. After that, go down into the Emperor Wars files until you find the, the galaxy.gal file. That's sort of the core what makes up the game. Um, drag that in. And once again, overwrite whatever it wants to overwrite. Do it for all of the conflicts. Let it grind away, do its thing. And now this last but, uh, bit is the optional part where you can install the windowed mod. And to do that, if you're seeing a theme, you go into the zip file, see it, select all the files in there, drag them in. There won't be anything to overwrite here. But now, the last thing you need to do, right click on here, go down to properties, and you want to, under general, Click on Advanced. No, you don't. Sorry. Um, well, actually select the file. That's why. Uh, here, now that we have the uh, EFS executable selected, uh, go to Compatibility. You're going to run this program in Compatibility Mode 4, 
Windows 95. And you can run in 640 by 480 screen resolution. I mean, you might need to fiddle with this. Um, generally speaking, if I just set it to run in Windows 95 mode, it works okay. Uh, but like I said, your mileage might vary. You might need to fiddle with the settings a bit more. After that, just double click and it comes up with this warning. Um, and there you go, you're in. And you can start a game, select your house. I mean, it's. Oh, and I think I set it up so that. Oops. <laughs> I set it up so the computer's playing itself here, which is actually kind of interesting to see. Um, but not necessarily what we want to watch. So anyhow, that's the video. I'm going to leave this doing its thing in the background here, and hopefully this is useful for you. Um, and if you have any questions, if you're still struggling getting this working, uh, feel free to let me know. I'll see if I can't help you try and figure it out. Um, and interesting that they're using the peasants to explore. It's going to end badly with the rebels. Anyhow, I'm going to stop this running now, and we will see you next time. Cheers.